Today, almost 10 years since a massive earthquake and tsunami struck Japan in 2011, the country is still struggling to decontaminate the radioactive mess that is the Fukushima nuclear power plant. Three of the plant's nuclear reactors went into meltdown when the tsunami broke through a seawall and flooded the plant. As the facility's cooling systems failed in the days that followed, the reactors melted down and tons of radioactive material were released. Much of that radiation was trapped in flood water and water used to cool the runaway nuclear reactions. Most of the radioactive isotopes have been removed from the water by using a complex filtration process, but one isotope, tritium, cannot be removed, so the water has been stored in huge tanks, which will fill up by 2022. Japan's government has now announced that it will have to release the 1.23 million tons of radioactive water into the ocean when its current holding tanks start to run over in 2022. Environmental and fishing groups oppose the idea as they fear that the radioactivity in the water will harm sea animals and the people who eat these animals. However, many scientists say the risk that it would pose is low.